You're the reviewer now for the Intel Core Ultra 9 285K. This is TimeSpy. Give me your thoughts. So you need to know the setup. This is the NVIDIA RTX 4080 Super for the GPU, 48 gigs of DDR5 at 8,600 mega transfers, Xfinity in particular, and of course the Intel Core Ultra 9 285K. And then this is the AIO and motherboard. TimeSpy is an application you can run to benchmark your PC for gaming, and this is found in Steam or 3 Mark. After running TimeSpy, it gives you the score and it breaks it down for graphics and CPU. You can even do an estimation for what the FPS would be in different games at different resolutions. That's all fine and good, but here's where it gets interesting. The average clock frequency was 5.4 gigahertz for the Intel Core Ultra 9 285K, and it did it with an average temperature of 54 degrees Celsius. And the CPU package actually maxed out at 68 degrees Celsius, all while giving us a time spy score that's better than 97% of all results. Now I found this interesting. The Intel NPU, yes, there's a neural processing unit built into this Intel Core Ultra 200S series, and it's not even being utilized yet in these games. This is going to be very interesting for future use. And then my MSI PSU gives me some interesting data. This is the AI 1300P. It's quite nice. I've done a separate video, one or two videos on this, and it plugs in by a USB and gives me data like this, where the PSU power, the summation of the power, maxed out at 440 watts. So I find this interesting because this is a multi-core champ. You know, when it comes to like my previous video where I showed it was basically number one, beating the 9950X, nine, uh, the 14900KS, and like Cinebench R23, multi multi-threaded applications, right? But for gaming, there's always gonna be something better, of course, like X3D, but this is showing it's 97% better than all results in TimeSpy right now, and at cool temperatures. So you can do your productivity and obviously game, perfectly fine. Are you gonna tell the difference between 200 FPS and 250 FPS? If you can, let me know in the comments. Now, no, this is not me saying like, go out and buy the Intel processor right now. No, because there's some refinement that it actually needs. It needs time to marinate for them to work out some of the kinks. Like it's not doing what it should in some of the Adobe, Adobe applications, stuff like that. So you let it marinate a bit. But we have more testing to go. So go ahead and hit the follow button, the like button, and feel free to share these videos because I want to know if this Intel processor is worth your money. 